All right, testing out the waterproofness of the Durson X-Men Pro 2. And one of the concerns that I previously had was that the water might bounce back up. And that doesn't seem to really be an issue at the moment. So we'll keep monitoring it and see what's up. All right, so we do have a little bit of splashback on this side of the tent, but nothing has come in. So there is definitely a little splashback issue, but not enough at the moment for it to actually get in and make your stuff wet inside of the tent. The dam broke. And now all the water's rushing through. All right, we believe we are at the end of this uh, hail and rainstorm. And it lasted, what was it, two hours? Yeah. Two hours of just intense freaking hail and rain and all sorts of stuff. So, very surprising. We're gonna go over everything with the Durson, how well it did. Um, first off, overall, Things stayed very dry in here. There are some like kind of interesting things and then uh, we'll go outside and we'll take a look from the outside. Uh, if you're seeing the pitch and the pitch is kind of weird, I will go over that later. We'll go over the pitch. But let's uh, cover some of the stuff on the inside. So first thing that we notice is this netting on the side. It's really weird because it, it ends up dragging on the ground or it gets like the amount of rain and dirt and everything that is moving through here. As you can see, it is really, really just covered in water and mud and everything. So I'm assuming it would be really hard to change the design because you would have to have a whole different seam going up here to have this attach up here instead of down at the edge. I'm sure it's way easier to attach to the edge. But, Dan, if you could figure something out like that, I think that would make keeping the tent clean and like, keeping the moisture out a lot better. Now, speaking of keeping the moisture out, we did not really get any moisture inside whatsoever. And the bug netting actually did a really good job of capturing a lot of droplets and dirt. But look how high up all of this goes on here. That's how intense the storm was. The previous video, our initial review, I was talking about it would be nice if the bathtub had another inch or two to make it a little taller for situations where you might get bounce up. Well, as you can see, the bounce up was so high, it really wouldn't matter. But like I said, nothing really got in here. We did use the sleeping pad kind of as a wall to block some of it, but the netting actually held up pretty good. Let's, uh, if it is truly done, we'll walk outside and we'll take a look from the outside at how the Durson did. All right, we're at three hours now, and I think I can finally talk about the Durson X-Men Pro 2 Plus in a crazy hail and rainstorm. So, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the pitch. And I know Dan Durson saw my video last time, and he jumped on and gave some pointers. And I promise you, before the storm hit, I took those pointers, and we had a really nice looking pitch. And I appreciate him giving a lot of those pointers. But here's my theory. All the stakes on the tent were in um, really hard, dry dirt. And the storm that was predicted was supposed to have no accumulation whatsoever. So it really wasn't supposed to be much of a rainstorm, more of a thunderstorm. And we had a few inches of hail alone, let alone all the rain. So I think what happened is the stakes, because it's so saturated now, 
loosened up. And once that happened, once it loosened up, then the poles got a lot of slack and we started losing our angles. But that might have actually, in a weird way, protected the tent because with it not so taut, it allows the hail to kind of hit and absorb instead of just slamming into it. So it actually might have protected the tent um, unintentionally. But because of that, then we lose the angles in the bathtub and everything else. And it was coming down so hard I wasn't going to come out and fix it. What I was really impressed with is, even though this angle on this side is super shallow, uh, what happened, as you can see a little bit here, that's all hail, is the hail started piling almost halfway up the tent. So right about here worth of hail. And it held up. We didn't have any issues. We didn't have any drip issues or anything. Um, like I said on the inside, there's really no moisture whatsoever. So I'm very, very impressed with how well this tent did in those conditions, especially when the pitch gets messed up that bad. Look at that. Look at that. It is so loose now. So I'm going to go through and fix it up. I'm sure Dan, if he watches this video, he's going to be like, if you bring it down closer to the ground, you're going to get le less splash back. But that's how it was. It was a lot lower and things loosened up. And this is where we currently are now. So that is the first official test. I said I wanted to test it in snow. This is a good uh, preemptive test in snow. So with this pitch, we've got stakes in the four corners, and then we just have st one stake on each side where the vestibule is. Now, if we knew it was gonna be crazier storm than it, then we would have actually probably used guy lines to make this even stronger. Um, and you got guy line spots all over, and look, if you're worried about the, uh, the tent poles collapsing in like it did, there's a guy line attachment right here. And you can always guy that out and make it way more taut. But like I said, it wasn't supposed to be that crazy of a storm. And we didn't really have wind either. Which again, if there was wind in the forecast, we would have used the guy lines and really pitched this out and made it solid. So for it doing as well as it did with just those four stakes, in the corners and then one on each vestibule and no other guy lines and having the stakes loosen up good job this the x med did a fantastic job now the one thing i gotta figure out is and it might be because this side loosened up is why as you could see on when we were inside why was the bathtub so flat on this side because I had to pretty much hold that up most of the flooding portion of the storm so that we didn't get water in the tent. Did a pretty good job. Look at that. This is the scene of the crime where all the splashback happened. So dirty on this side. I can't believe, I don't know how it got dirty all the way up to there to be honest. Like this whole side is crazy. We got the pitch looking a little better. It's still a little slack, but not too bad.